My name is Yona Undavela. You can call me Yona, and I am a member of Group Four. Happy watching! Hello, guys. My name is Zenwandari. You can call me Zeni. I am a member of Group Four. Happy watching, ya! And have a nice day. Hello, everyone. My name is Erawati. You can call me Erna. I'm member Group Four. Happiness Day! Hey everyone! Today we are going to talk more about how to start conversation in English. What is conversation? Conversation is interactive communication between two or more people. Conversation is the spoken exchange of ideas, observation, opinions, or feelings between people. Expression and exchange of individual ideas through talking with other people. Also, a sad instance or occasion of short talking. Conversation synonym Banter Banter Chat Chinwag Dialogue Dialogue Discussion Discussion Interlocution Interlocution Power Power And Table Talk How to start conversation in English Do you have difficulty speaking English? Sometimes the hardest part is simply starting conversation. Now, we will learn an expression how to start conversation in any situation, formal or informal, at work, at school, and other contexts. We have three ways that we get conversation going. One is by asking a question, one is by making a comment or making statement, and the last is by giving a compliment. Who are you talking to? Close friends, an accountant, or stranger people? You are probably not as good at starting conversation as you think you are. The trick to engaging in an interesting conversation is simple. Stop trying to be interesting. Instead, be interested in the other person. Here are 7 ways to start a conversation that won't leave to other party burdened with having to. Take the lead or struggling to find a way to extricate themselves. One, not that you are in this together. When circumstances are an ideal, acknowledging a shared experience can soften the edge and get a conversation going. It's likely you use this approach all the time without realizing it. At the grocery store, you comment to the person in front of you that the lines always seem to be longest when you are on your lunch break. From there, a brief conversation flows naturally. 2. 
notice something nice. The opposite of the wearing this together, composition starter is noticing something pleasant. A positive approach can get the composition of the right star. We tend to like a bit people who draw your attention to good things. 3. Pay a compliment This technique can be a great icebreaker. Who doesn't like hearing a sincere compliment? You don't have to frown over the other party to make an impact. Either Succeeding is as simple as noticing something you like and mentioning. Four. Ask an opinion. We all want to feel like our opinions matter. Ask for someone opinion show that you are interested in them and their talk. Five of health. There's no better way to show that you are a nice, approachable person than to be helpful. If you find yourself in a situation where you can lend a hand, go ahead and do it. Six. Look for common grunts. Dishonest as yes, if you know you are at function where everyone's likely to have a similar background. When you bring up what you have in common, you make an instant connection that will lead to more things to talk about. Seven. Ask for help or information. Much like asking an opinion, asking for a little help or guidance can be a great way to make. 8. Now that you've got the conversation started, follow the rules of small talks to keep it flowing for a while. Just remember to be interested in the other person, find common ground, and ask follow-up questions. Conversation with friends With friends, you can use informal English expression like this. What's up? What's up? What's new? What's new? How it's going? How it's going? To reply to what's up or what's new, people often say something that uh, has happened in their life currently or recently. If someone say how it's going, you can answer great, good, or not so good, and then say why. Other exam example like this. Hey Yona. Hi Jenny. How is it going? Not so good. But why? Conversation with colleagues. In the office, you use slightly more formal English, such as this. Hi, John. How are you doing? How your day going? We are sure having a busy day today. 
We are sure having a slow day today Have you heard the news about On Saturday Have you got any plan for the weekend? On Monday How was your weekend? Hi Jenny, I'm stuck in this. Can you please help? Yeah, what's the problem? I have checked the code, but still there is an error every time I run this on the tool. Did you check the punch? No. She, it has to be fast on zero. You flash it on one. It's working now. Oh god, so stupid of me. I have been walking to this since the past one hour. It's okay. It happens. You can always ask me. So, how this place? Nice. Better than your spirit, Jeff? Yes, shut up. Yes, yes. It's look good, Jaring. The initial stages. True that. Come, we will go for lunch. Yeah, one minute I will be coming. Let's go. Can you talk about project you are working on or about hobby you have outside work? Current national and international news is also a good topic of conversation. Conversation with a friend you haven't seen in a long time. Here are some common expressions to start a conversation with someone you see after a long separation. Example Hi Zenny, how have you been? Long time no see. So, what have you been up to lately? How are your family? Are you still working at Sandabi Company? In this case, you can ask about news in your friends who study family. The friend will be asked about recent development in your own life too. Hello Yana, how have you been? Hi Anna, I have been pretty good. It has been a long time you met, isn't it? That's right. I have been to USA for two years. I came back last week and think to visit her here. Lucky get that sun great. That is very difficult to get a USA visa. That's right. Then what are you doing now? I am working for Infosys Company as software engineer. That's great. Conversation at the party or wedding Example I don't think we've met I'm Anna Are you from Bengkulu? So, how do you know Yona? You try to chocolate cake, it is delicious. So, where are you from? Uh, I actually just moved here from the East Coast a few months ago. Oh, 
okay. So, how do you know Yona? Oh, Yona. She was my classmate on campus when we were in college. What do you do for work? I am in accounts management. Oh, really? Wow, that's cool. If you are at party or wedding, you can start a conversation by asking how the person now the host of the party or the people of getting married. You can also comment about the food, drink or the about the music. Conversation at a conference or a work event. Now let's look at prices for starting conversations at conference or work event. Example. I don't think we've met. I'm Erna. So, where are you from? What did you think of the speaker? That was excellent workshop. I learned it a lot. How about you? You can ask about the person job, what company they are from, their opinion about the conference even conversation with someone you were just introduced to of course you can say nice to meet you you can also ask how do you do now it's others If a friend is an introduction new person, so what do you do for a living? That means what is your job? If a person introduction new student, you can ask what are you study? You been a journalist? How long have you been interested in music? How long have you been doing yoga? How did you get into it? When you meet someone for the first time, you can ask casually about new passion, profession, interest, hobby, and others. Their answer will then give opportunity to ask more or uh, share about yourself. Conversation with someone you meet outside in public places. Example It's a beautiful day, isn't it? It looks like it's going to rain It looks like it's going to snow Can you believe all this rain we've been having? Can you believe all this snow we've been having? Sure, it's a hot one today. Sure, it's a cold one today. Just look at those flowers. They are amazing. Are not they? Your child is so cute. 
What is his name? If you are in a park, on the street, or others. The most common way to start a conversation is by talking about the weather or the surroundings. Conversation with stranger. And finally, with talking with strangers, that is person you don't know in other contexts. The secret to starting a conversation with someone you don't know is make a comment about the current social context. And here are a few examples how to do this. At an art gallery, that's an interesting painting. What do you think of it? at the bar this is a great song i love latin music how about you at the cafe boy do i need a coffee at the sport game wow that was a great play so who's your favorite player at the playground my kids are sure full of energy today. At a concert or event, what a great turnout! Have you ever heard before? You don't need to ask a direct question. You can simply make a comment to other persons, and this is like an invitation for other persons to comment too. This can then begin a conversation. Exercise You meet your old school friends after a gap of several years. You Hi, I have seen you in a while. Your friend Yes, it has been a long time. You, your friend, I think that we last show each other two years ago. What is the most appropriate answer to the dialogue above? A. How long has it been since we last saw? B. How are you? The answer is... How long has it been since we last show? You met with your colleagues at the office today. It seemed like he passed his weekend well. You? Are you watching or reading anything really great at the moment? Colleague? It was great. Actually, Totally hug on both the revolutionary love and the range. Do you watch either of them? What is the most appropriate answer to the dialogue above? A. How have you been? B. How was your weekend? The answer is. How was your weekend? 